Okay guys, for this gnome it's pretty easy, not, not a lot of supplies. We're going to stain our um, skis, we're going to use the little peg people as the base. Okay, let's get started. We're going to take a black Sculpey clay, we're going to roll it up into two pea-sized little balls and that's going to be for his feet. And then we are going to take our little peg guy and we are going to mash these feet down so that they're flush, they're level. Then go ahead and take them and kind of squeeze them in a little bit to make them a little bit more narrow so they'll fit right underneath his body. Okay, then bake them at 250 degrees for 15 minutes. All right. There, and we're going to go ahead and cut out his beard. We're going to cut it at uh, one inch long by three quarters of an inch wide. And then just take your scissors and cut behind the faux fur only. I know y'all heard me say it before, but just cut behind the faux fur only, get it cut out, and then go ahead and clean it off. Okay, we're going to put it aside. We're going to build the body. We're going to hem up the bottom hem on this. And then we're going to hem up one side as well. And that, the peg I use is, is called the dad peg person. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and glue it down on the side and we're going to roll that up. Okay, after you get it all rolled up, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue in the very top part just to adhere it to his head. Squeeze it in there. And then we're going to go ahead and attach his beard. And we're going to attach his beard over the seam so that it'll hide it. Then we're going to go ahead and glue it down a little bit, down to the body. Okay, now we're going to take um, this. This is going to be his arms. We're just going to fold this up into the middle where the two middles meet. So fold it halfway up and then turn the other one and fold it the other halfway up so it meets in the middle. So you're going to have about a half inch after you're done. And then we're going to take that and we're going to fold it in half, find the center point, glue down the back. And wrap that around and we're just going to glue it to where the fabric is only, just up to the beard. Okay, then to create his arms, we're just going to fold it in and we are going to add a little bit of glue. And this will cover up any of the seams that are opened. Okay, then we're going to take his hat and we're just going to put a little bit of glue on top of his head, attach that hat, and fold it down. And we're going to pull it down in the back over his arms so it doesn't look like his arms are wrapped around his back. And then we're just going to glue that in. Okay, then we're going to um, put his feet on. We'll just put a little bit of glue on the bottom, make sure his feet are facing forward. And then we're going to go ahead and attach his nose. Just lift his hat back a little bit. And then we're going to put a little bit of glue on the top part of his nose and pull that on down. All right, now we're going to go ahead and build his goggles. And I've included the pattern below. I've also included an SVG file if you want to be able to cut it out with a Cricut. We're just measuring around from the side, from under his arm, around the front to the other underside of his arm, and then cut that in half. Then we're going to take our goggles and we're just going to put a strap on both sides. And then we are going to glue them to his hat. And this is the pattern. Okay, so just take a little bit of glue and attach it to the white part. And then just glue that down to his hat. And I'm just using a quarter inch strip of um, craft foam on that. And I'm using black craft foam for his goggles. Just add a little bit of glue right there. Come down the side a little bit. And then we're going to go tuck it up underneath his arm. So it looks like it's underneath his hat. Just curve that around and go underneath his arm. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and build his ski poles. And we are just going to take um, a cutter and cut the very tip off of them. And then we're going to paint them a half an inch from the top. We're going to paint them black with a black Sharpie. And that's going to be his little handles for his ski poles. And then we're going to take a regular um, hole puncher. And we're just going to cut two 
black circles out of craft foam and that's what's going to be for the opposite end of his poles. Just take your um, toothpick and just poke it in there and push it up probably about a quarter of an inch. Okay, then we're going to take a little bit of glue and just attach a little bit of glue to the bottom just to make sure that they stay on. You don't have to put a lot, just a little dab of glue on there. Okay, next we're going to take his skis and we're going to stain them and then you need to let those dry really good. And then we're going to go ahead and attach his poles to his arms, to his hands, and I'm just going to glue it in there and let it dry for a second and then I'm going to wrap that um, hand, uh, that arm around his ski poles look like he has little hands on there, little mittens. And you could have left that opening when you folded that in half. You could have left just a little slit in there if you just wanted to drop those in there. But I just thought it looked a little bit better having his hands wrapped around them. Okay, now just wrap that around there and then glue that down. And you're going to have to hold this for a minute because it is going to be um, kind of a short little piece. But um, hold it around there and it'll dry fast. And then we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. Just roll that hand around there. Okay, now all we lack is just um, putting his shoes onto his skis. Just make sure your skis are straight. All right, if you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.